I'm trying to add some weight to this machine, so I walk over here. Like nonchalantly, I just grab this 45. I put it on here, I turn around, and the dude's been sitting there. <laughs> and I just, you know, I turn around like, oh, I, grab, I, I try to look at him and be like, you know, I'm sorry, but he would not look at me whatsoever, dude. It's just the most embarrassing thing ever. Today's vlog is going to be kind of boring. I'm just going to be doing some work. So I'm going to this coffee shop in Milton called Taste Craft. It's one of my favorites. It's very low key and quiet. They always have macaroons that they bring in from New York City and so I'll get two or three macaroons and despite e I mean I've, I've been on a cut so I've lost about eight pounds since May since May 1st um, when I came back to PA the heaviest that I was like May 1st I was around 190 I hit 181.8 which is a new low this year and I haven't done anything like really special. I'm not following a specific diet. I'm not tracking my food. What I am doing is just consciously restricting my calories and being mindful of what I eat. It's called Tastecraft. This place used to be in Lewisburg and I used to go there all the time and it was one of my favorite places, but they moved to Milton, which is actually a little bit closer, I think, to my house. But anyways. Hello. Two white chocolates. Okay. A big iced latte. Okay. Because I know you guys do the... Do the 32 ounce? Yes. Absolutely. Would you like any flavor in that? No flavor. No flavor? Light ice though. Light ice? Absolutely. I didn't eat my third macaroon and I put it in my bag and I'm at the gym so I was gonna leave it inside the car but it's so hot I knew this would melt. So as I was beginning my, uh, my workout, I remembered that I had this and so I ran back to my car and wanting to still save, you know, a good macaroon. I'm gonna eat it now. I also left you guys in the car because I didn't want to film my workout but I think today we're gonna film. This is the lens that I'm going to be using, it's 24 to 70. There's one big annoyance with the 24. Um, it's heavy, you know, it's a heavy lens, so that's the only like annoying thing. And you know, it's versus 18, it's a little bit cropped in, but that's all right. We're going to deal with that and we're going to get back to this workout. Partnership with the Miller Center and the YMCA. It's a fucking, you know, so it keeps its 501 C3, but a uh, fantastic gym. Love this place. Unfortunately, they close very early, but still, nonetheless, it's one of the best places to go lift. They offer a lot. Multiple basketball games, too. is delts, traps, and calves, and then triceps and biceps. Now, delts are obviously the priority, but I throw in calves on a delt day just because I usually don't have time for calves on my leg day. Squats take 35 minutes usually, especially yesterday when I went heavy, and by the time I get through, you know, I did 37 sets with adductors, with the glutes, with hamstrings, as well as squats, so I like to do calves, plus I have small calves, so I do 
a separate day. So today we're doing about five delt exercises. We're doing one calf, two traps, and then a try and buy just for the heck of it. So we'll see how triceps and biceps actually work out, but that's what we're doing. Five by five on barbell shoulder press, overhead press. Five by five is like my go-to usually. Well, it's a good strength builder, and it's not like doing one. So it's, it's not dangerous either you because know, it's five reps. So really good strength builder, and I have weak shoulders. I used to I used to not have a shoulder day for about probably like the last year and a half. I haven't done shoulders too much, and so I'm incorporating more delts because I know that they're lacking. Right now we're in the middle of, we're doing six sets, we're doing 20 on the Smith machine, we're doing 20, 20, 15, 15, 12, 12, increasing weight every set. The way that I track my workouts is through a spreadsheet that I've been going on maybe five or six years that I've uh, been tracking everything on a spreadsheet, so it keeps me very organized, I can track everything, I can look back, you know, year by year, week to week. I can see what exercises, what weights, what reps I did, and that's how I know that I'm always progressively overloading everything because everything is everything is tracked. Throughout the journey, it's always up and ups and down. There's always gonna be fluctuations of your strength. It's just a good way to keep track of everything. So I can see last week or six months ago what my strength was at based on my body weight and ensures that there's always progressive overload. So we're doing a super set right now after we went from Calf races, doing a five set super set. Start off with some lateral cable races for 12, and then we're gonna run over to the machine trucks and bust out 15 minutes. He made me this cold, and I'm talking like no degrees. This ain't a flu. I seen it way before it ever happened. He gave me the view. I had to put in my time with the TV ain't coming in soon. I couldn't leave it all up to a variant or an experience. You gotta get him and do what it do. So I'm a K, the homie is you. Always gonna wait until you in the mood. I've been running, came out, gunning, stopped and fronting on your words. What you hear, not what you heard. I'm a hate on every verb. I'ma show you what it's worth. Every so I finished up press of extensions. We still got a couple more sets of crossbody hammer curls. Um, one of the things with the crossbody hammer curls is that it's really like at this joint, this part of the bicep, it hammers that so you, it's very easy to cramp. So I had started doing a superset with some upright rows and crossbody hammer curls and right there at the forearm just cramped. So I had to stop one of them. I finished up my set on upright rows. After the third set, someone came and took the machine so I had to stop. So we're gonna jump back in. I cut my time in the gym to like an 90 minutes, an hour 45 at most, because there's a certain threshold where it becomes kind of counterintuitive, where you start releasing catabolic hormones. You get to a certain exhaustion point where um, you've, you've utilized all of your ATP and your body starts to release cortisol. So we're trying to avoid any cortisol um, release. If we really carved up, if we really had a lot of food, then you know we'll go for two hours, but usually I try to keep it in like that 90 minute range at most. So that's why we're not gonna finish. Technically we're not gonna finish, even though I prescribed more volume today than I normally do. Uh, so we're gonna finish out this set of uh, rear delt rows and one more set of curls and then we're done for the day. For those people who care, I'm gonna show my current condition. I'm not working towards like any show specific. I'm just trying to get 
you know, a little bit leaner, so about nine pounds in the last two weeks. Last three weeks, lost about nine pounds, so. Went in at about 181, 182, 182 after today, probably, probably out a couple more pounds, so. Great workout, and it's such a beautiful day out. It's like 73, it reminds me of California. Just perfect, perfect weather. Very little humidity, a little bit of wind. I love summer easily the best season i know people people don't like the hot people don't like the heat i don't know why i love the heat i'd rather have summer than winter that's for sure we're gonna hang around we're gonna hang around town a little bit today uh, get some more work done again today kind of boring actually we just did work and we worked out we're gonna finish today's vlog like this this lens bro it's heavy. It's heavy. But I'll see you guys later. Thank you for joining. I don't know if you watch this. If you watch this far, bro, which probably no one has watched this far, kudos to you.